Hi, Michael Smith here in the PV Studios with the new Viper Pro Amplifier. And in this video, we're going to talk about the main edit screen here. And this is going to take a couple of videos because there's some um, there's some features in this menu that are going to require some more detailed explanation. But here we have our concentric knob. Of course, we have our auxiliary input, which is for your uh, MP3 player or any external device. It's an eighth inch input that goes directly to the power amp. So you're not going to go through any of the guitar processing when you go into the aux end. And then we have our headphone output here. And our concentric knob is primarily for navigation with presets and banks. The outer knob scrolls through banks, while the inner knob here scrolls through presets. So when I'm in regular play mode, I hit the inner knob, and now I'm in my main Viper menu. This is the menu where you spend, uh, or where you... Uh, you load your presets, you save your presets, rename your presets, and a lot of the back office duties of the amp. Load presets, pre self explanatory. If I want to load a certain preset, I can do it from here if I want. Save preset. When I'm done editing a, uh, a patch and I click on save preset, first thing it's going to do is ask me, Am I sure I want to overwrite the patch? I can go ahead here and I can change it anywhere I want. I can make it a different patch. But let's just say yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it right where it is. I'm going to overwrite where I'm at. And then it goes to the renaming section where the outer knob here controls the cursor position. There's a lot of characters. And then the inner knob changes the character itself. So I've got upper and lowercase letters. Um, I've got symbols and I've got numbers. So I can really give this a, a unique name based on whatever it is I want. And when I click that again, it's going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that one level at a time. And that's save presets. Now I can also rename the preset. I don't have to save all the changes or maybe I don't have any changes and all I want to do is, is rename it. Rename the bank. That's very handy. Uh, if I've got different song names I want to apply to different banks, I can certainly do that. Default pedals. Now this is important because this is where I choose the Sampera's default pedals, they default to the volume pedal on the left and the wah pedal on the right. Uh, if I want to change that, I can. I can just turn this and then I've got the wah on the left and I've got the volume on the right, whatever I want. Now that has nothing to do with the expression pedal functions. That's a separate thing. You know, I, I'm going to uh, give the expression pedals their own um, settings and, and I can swap the default but I can't really swap the expression pedal functions. And uh, that's just to keep it a little less confusing. Back out of there. I'm going to skip over assign pedals. That's going to be a video on its own. Disable MIDI out. Obviously, when it says disable MIDI out, that means it's currently enabled. When I click that, uh, it goes to enable, meaning it's currently disabled. MIDI out channel. Push that, and this is where I'm going to tell it 1 through 16. Which channel? So if I've got multiple pieces of MIDI gear and I only want to change the channel on one or, or a number of those, I make sure that they're on a certain channel and that I'm sending the MIDI message to that channel. Um, now the AT200 guitar is what they call Omni. So it's all the channels. I don't have to specify a certain channel for the guitar, but if I have a certain piece of outboard gear that I only want to change the patches on uh, specifically, then I'm going to go to a certain channel. Back out of there. Go to Restore Presets. Now, Restore Presets is going to restore all the presets to the factory original condition, but it's going to leave alone all the back office things, such as the uh, changes that I've made with input sensitivity or maybe the gates, etc. Factory Reset, that's going to restore everything on the amp. All the settings, all the presets back to original. Next is an en Enable Demo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable the demo because it was disabled, and you'll see when I unplug, I'm going to go to Demo Mode here. Demo Mode locks out overriding the presets in banks A and B so that our dealers can feel confident that they're not going to have someone go to those two banks and, and create you know crazy-sounding presets. So they're always going to have the factory presets in A and B until they disassemble the, the demo. Now we've got Delay and Reverb Trails on and off. Now what that does is when I am in a preset, I have direct access on my Sampera Pro to turn the reverb and delay on and off. Either I want it to chop off the trails of those or I want them to continue. So either way, I can set that in my main menu here. 
show version. So when you go to your uh, go to the web page or go to the the uh, PV web app, the Viper Edit web app, it's going to show you the version that's the latest version in uh, that's available. And you want to compare that to what you have. And you see here I have version 1.3. If I I'm using the web app, it will actually automatically show you uh, what you have and what the latest is. So you can just click, go ahead and update it, and it will automatically update. And then I have input sensitivity. I can control the input sensitivity from minus 10.4 dB all the way up to plus 15 dB. And why that's important is maybe I have uh, different guitars that I want to use and in this way, I can make sure if one night I'm using my active guitar and the next night I'm using my passive guitar, guitar I can uh, change the input sensitivity so that I'm hitting the preamp with the same level uh, with those different guitars that all have different outputs. And you're going to have to just trial and error that yourself with your guitars since they have so much of a, a variety. That is the main Viper menu. And uh, next up, we'll go to the assigned pedals and we'll concentrate on that specifically. Michael Smith in the PV Studios.